Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Apples and Tiaras. So today I'm gonna to be filming for you my classroom tour, and I apologize in advance if it's shaky. Um, my tripod didn't come with all of its pieces with me today. I left some at home, total accident, but I'm gonna do my best to show you everything in the room. I'm probably not gonna go into too much detail about everything because it will make this video really long, um, but just know that most of the stuff that's in here either I made or I got on Teachers Pay Teachers, so if you're looking for something specific, um, check Teachers Pay Teachers first, just type in what you would normally type in and it will probably show up. A lot of the things that I have, um, you guys also saw in a haul that I did over the summer. So check back to my summer hauls to see where I got a lot of the stuff. And I will be talking about my Ikea purchases in this video so that you guys can see what I actually ended up got getting, <laughs> what I actually got at Ikea. So I'm just gonna start and let's go. Okay, so this is my classroom door, and what you'll notice is I have an Instagram wall. This I found on TPT, and I plan to use it to take pictures of the kids throughout the year and post their pictures there. I thought it would be really cute to just do like a highlight of the kids, and then once their picture's been there long enough, give it to them so they can take it home. This is an emergency flap when we're having a lockdown or something. If the room is clear and we're all set to go, we put it on the green side. If not, we put it on the red side and I just have it there so that I don't have any peekers while I'm filming. Over here I have my spirit stick, which is what I earned last year for having the best attendance. And I kept this three quarters in a row. The only time I didn't have it was when Jennifer had it. So um, that was a pretty good accomplishment was to have that thing most of the year. So then I've got my emergency procedures, of course, just like every classroom. And then over here, this board, it's right when you walk in the room. And in this filing cabinet, I have actual files there. And in the bottom, I have some random junk, like my warm fuzzies. And I'll probably end up putting more junk in here later, but that's what's in there now. And then of course, all these files. And then right here is my inbox, and I'm going to attempt to use this inbox best I can. Hopefully the kids will be able to use it well, but I just have it labeled by subject, so science, social studies, math, reading, writing, grammar, and centers, and I plan to have them turn it into the corresponding box after every assignment. So um, they'll turn in their math work here, the reading work, you get the idea. Then I do have some of my students' lunch cards just ready for the first day of school so that they have those um, in case they don't know their lunch number. I have this stop highlight sign that I actually made. I kind of copied it from somebody on Pinterest, I'm not sure, but I ended up making it myself because I didn't want to pay for something I could easily make. So I just made that and put it right above the inbox. I might move it from there just to the top um, later on, but I really want them to see that. So then I got this calendar from Target, I really like that. And then this cute little decoration that Jennifer made me. It's super cute. Um, there was a sign at home Hobby Lobby that I wanted that was exactly the same and I didn't want to spend the money on it. So she made me one, so cute. And then I have my goal tracker here. So this goes along with my scoreboard, which I'll show you guys later. Basically, if they beat me, they get a check mark next to the day of the week that they beat me. If they beat me four out of five days, they get a class incentive and they get to pick from bunch of different things, just depends. And then I have my my class mascot, which is actually Sparky, and he will be giving messages here every day, every other day, every week, whatever, um, and he's just there ready for any messages that need to be shared. And then I did get this place value chart on TPT as well. I did not put the rest of it up because I wanna wait until we get to decimals to do that, but I do have it here since we do start with place value in the beginning of the year. Then down here, I have a couple of items. These are just hall passes that I was just given. Um, I literally got them from my mailbox before I started filming this. So these are just here ready for, to go. Um, these ones are from last year, but I'll probably keep them anyway. Um, then I've just got hand sanitizer. This is an essential oil spray that I got at Sprouts. It's a lemon lavender, and I just mixed it with a little bit of water, so after lunch, they can come in and I'll spritz them with that, and it's kind of refreshing. And then this is my warm fuzzy jar. Um, if they beat me, every day that they beat me, they get a warm fuzzy, and then once this jar is completely filled, there's a huge class incentive that we do. And this also goes for if they earn a six in specials, which is the best, or if they get a compliment in the hallway, we just do a warm fuzzy, so. 
And then I have my pencil sharpeners here. These are from classroomfriendlysupplies.com. They're amazing, and um, they're just here. So, moving over. Moving right along. So over here I have a bunch of magnets. I plan on putting the kids' names on those with dry erase marker and that will be organizing my small groups once I've put them together because they might change. So I figured once I get those made and put together I'll organize those. Um, I've got handouts from Meet the Teacher Night that I'm just leaving here because I want to make sure everybody gets them. So I will pass those out on Monday. Um, I've also got the agendas ready for tomorrow, Monday, um, for them, so those are there. And then I have, this is uh, my stage, which also doubles as um, a place to sit. So I can actually sit one, two, three students here, maybe even four. Um, and I also keep my Eureka materials on here. So these are all Eureka materials, and then this is extra that I need to put in there, so I just need to do that. And then I have my Howling Coyote behavior signs on the wall here, just because I don't didn't have enough table tents for them, and then a bucket of pencils. Then I've got some tissues and a lamp, <laughs> my stool that my sister made me, and then a bin of pillows for the four students who will sit here to sit on so they're not on the hard floor. Here's an overview of my whiteboard. I like to section this part off because that's where the projector goes and I like to know where I can write things and where I can't write things, so I do that. I have two little anti-bullying signs here. Um, I've got my bin of whiteboard markers and an eraser, some magnets. This is my scoreboard, which you can get on TPT. I'm not sure who sells it, but if you look up daily scoreboard, you will find it. Um, but these are the oh yeahs and the oops. Um, and that's how we track on the goal thing over there. This is my little Ikea cart. <laughs> my dad put it together wrong. So it has these kind of sticking up, but it's fine. Um, on here, I just have all of my teaching tools that I use all the time. So I have my emoji partner cards. I have um, some questions for multiplication facts. I've got my stop go sign for Eureka. Um, I have a little duster here. I don't know why it's there, but um, I've got my pointer, my remote control for the power, the projector. I've got my pause, which is for PBIS. Um, some tape just in case somebody rips something. And then these are all of my materials. So this is the binder and all the school supplies that the kids will have. So this is my model piece. Um, like I told you guys in my school supplies video, I always have one. Um, I have my own whiteboard here for when I'm solving problems under the camera. And this is my doc cam. This is like my little teaching station here. So I've got my common core standards that I put in there weekly. And then this is where my objectives go. So depending on the subject, they just go here and I write them out in cursive. And then I obviously have some things ready for the first day of school. So my flip book, um, class dojo logins, and then people who didn't come to meet the teacher night will get these. And then I do have my quiet work sign over here. When it's time to work silently and nobody is talking, I turn that on and the kids respond really well to it. So then I've got a sink sheet here just in case someone wants to be naughty. Then over here I've just got this little station. This is actually classroom supplies. It's all organized by Ben. Um, there's probably going to be a lot more once the kids come in with their supplies so it might not stay this way. It might end up somewhere else just in case it gets cluttered or whatever. Um, and then on top I just have my little marquee, my monthly writing prompts. This is my writing center that I use. That's from Pocketful Primary. And then I have an assignment um, example here. So anytime they do an assignment, they need to remember to put the title, the date, their name, and their number so that they can turn that in and it's easy to sort for me. And then just another bullying sign. Moving right along, we have a window here. We have a flexible seating option. These tables can be moved. Um, so once this area is empty, these tables can be moved out, around. Um, they're very easy to move. And then I've got some cushions from Ikea underneath. These tables came from Ikea. Um, and then, yeah, like basically all this came from Ikea. And then again, my Howling Coyote behavior up there. Then I've got my library, which this isn't all the books that I have, it's just 
what would fit on there. The rest of my books are in there. But this is basically the, the good stuff. This is all the good books that are leveled by Lexile, and they all have a colored dot on the inside. Those ones over there are not leveled because they I couldn't find the level of them. So, And then this little pencil shelf my sister actually found on the side of the road, um, and it came in primary colors, and I just painted it. Um, so that's that. I've got an emoji up there. Um, this thing saves my life. It makes everything smell good. I just get it at Walmart. I've got some tissues and then this cute little sign. And then here, blackboard cartooning for teachers. Just in case I need to draw something and I don't want to look like a fool because I can't draw because I'm terrible at drawing. And then up here, I just have my seven whole brain rules. Follow directions quickly, things like that. I got this from teaching and so forth. It's actually the seven habits, but I changed them into my seven rules, which really aren't rules. They're just kind of things to live by, like be safe, <laughs> be an example, raise your hand, things like that. Um, and then I've got another Ikea station here. These came from Amazon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not wearing shoes. Um, and they're just like a balanced thing that blows up. I've got a plant there to hide the outlet and then again my howling coyote behavior then i've got my job chart here um, the second week of school i plan to have all of these filled out with their names on them i do not give any jobs the first week of school because i do not know who will do the jobs well yet and then of course i just have lights around and these will be all of their sticks for jobs and then i've got a beanbag chair here which won't live there it's just there for now um, my filing cabinet this is my shout out board. You can't see it right now, but on the back of these table tents, there's a little shout out thing. And that's where they put them, is on that board. And then these are all my chairs for my small group table, but they're stacked right now because I was putting supplies under that. So they're stacked. Sorry, I'm running out of breath because of my pregnancy. Uh, this is empty, but it will eventually be filled with something. <laughs> and then these are some brain breaks. This is my other Ikea purchase, the little thing, Jennifer has it too. And then I just have, in the black tubs or bins is math uh, materials. So I might have some fraction tiles or some bingo games. And then in the purple is, like I said, more library books that are not leveled. Then I just have these bins out ready for the first day for when the kids come in with their supplies. Everything that I put on my list for community is over here. So when they bring that to me, I can have them put them in these bins and then it's all organized. Over here next to the really loud air conditioning is my task card um, organizers that have no task cards in them because I'm going to put them in there as I make them or as I purchase them. This is my desk area. I'll probably do a more detailed video like I did last year of my desk area, but this is a good overview of it. I will talk about a couple things. I got the famous bin from Target that everybody got. <laughs> and this is cute, it's gonna be for little notes. And um, yeah, I have all of my stuff organized by day here. Normally I keep up really well with this. Um, I do have my first day of school stuff in here ready to go and then Tuesday and so on. And I have my copy bin here. I decided to use this as a copy bin and then a to and from home bin um, because I can just carry it like this and I can put stuff like a stapler and staples in the top if I need to use a stapler at home. This is what I take um, my grading stuff home in. I store homework in, so by the day, I think I talked about this in a previous video, but basically whenever they turn in homework, I put it in here so that I can take it home and organize it and grade it. And then I just have some warm fuzzies that were given to me by kids that I kept because I did get rid of a ton of my warm fuzzies, but those are a couple that I kept. And then my teacher toolbox is back there with some lights and yeah. This is my small group area. Again, math stuff is in black and then reading and writing manipulatives and other items are in blue. I have my coffee warmer, pencil sharpener, pencils, small group bucket that will be with me when I'm doing small group. I've got my anchor chart board here, so this will probably be math and reading. Right now it's got flexible seating on it. And then I have my five C's up there. We are a five C school, so Jennifer made these, they're really cute. Um, 
So ask her if you want those. These little wall pops are here. You can get them at Home Depot or Amazon. And I like using them for whiteboards. And then same thing over here. This is a little easel for when I'm doing small group. If I need a whiteboard, I've got that. Here's my birthday chart. I'm just gonna write their names underneath with a dry erase marker and that's good. I've got a paper cutter up here. These are privacy folders, student mailboxes, lap desks. Don't know what's going in there yet, but I will find something to put in there. Um, and then over here is where I plan to store all of their items that will not go in their binders. So their composition notebooks, their literature study books, basically anything that does not fit in the binder will go here on these three shelves. Um, and then these are all of my binders from the summer that I organized. They're organized by standard or by topic. And I'll just do a pan of that. And then up in the top, I've got my teacher's editions for all my textbooks. I've got um, just everything I need all the time. So like my meeting notebook and these are other things that I need to have. And these are like other things that I'm prepping with. And I've got glue sponges. And then down here is just games. And then this is mine. So this is stuff that I need to file away. I don't know what that's going to be used for. We'll find out. Then I've got my computer area. I hate that the desks don't match. It drives me crazy. And then this will be um, passwords for logins and stuff that they'll need. And then here I have my bistro tables. These I got on Amazon. The chairs I got from Ikea. These chairs were given to me by my mother-in-law and I just painted and re-covered them. And then on each of the tables, I have Helen Coyote behavior and the little shout outs. So that's there. And then of course a bucket of pencils, enough for each person. Over here I've got my clip chart and my attendance chart, which will be filled with all their names tomorrow. And they'll all be in the absent section at first. Up there I keep Clorox and tissues. Down here is my jackets and lunch bin, textbooks, and this is where their binders will live. This is the naughty seat for anyone that does not get to have flexible seating. And then the middle of the room is pretty self-explanatory. These kiddos sit on the floor with cushions and those black seats. This table has ottomans around it and a lot of stuff is stored in there. And then these came from Ikea. This was donated to me by my mother-in-law. These ones are from Ikea and these ones are from Walmart. Ikea was like, Seven dollars, those were 16, so a lot cheaper at Ikea. What else? Oh, my little line across the top is reserved for student work because I don't have a lot of room on bulletin boards. And then over there I have my reading counts, points thing, and my clock, which has some fun stuff around it. Is that everything? I think that's everything. So I'm gonna just do a quick pan of the room. So I know that the room looks a little crowded and cluttered, at least to me it does, it feels crowded and cluttered, but you have to keep in mind that I only have these two cabinets for storage and I have 36 students right now but it could go up and I like to have my room really colorful and fun and make it somewhere that I like to be and that the students like to be all the time because that's kind of the reality. So yeah, I realize that there's a lot out. I think I cut back a lot from last year. This section is always really busy because it's mine, but I think I did a pretty good job of keeping everything else pretty uncluttered. And hopefully we can keep this organized with 37 humans, 37 and a half humans in the room at all times. And yeah, so that's my room guys. I hope you liked it. Oh, I didn't even mention the sit spots. I have 36 sit spots up in the front with their names on them. So I have, assigned them a sit spot for Monday. Um, and it will change because they'll go from that to ABC order once I know who's actually here and who's not here. 
so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this flexible seating classroom tour yay for the school year i'm really excited and um hopefully you guys will show me your classrooms i'm really excited to see i love classroom tours so make sure you film a classroom tour and link it down below all right love you guys have a magical day Bye.